Now I'm back in my blender scene and I want to go ahead and start developing these edge decals. And so how do we really go about starting to do that, right? Well, they are decals just like any other decal you've probably worked with before. So we're going to need to actually create some geometry to actually map these textures onto. So I'm going to come down kind of right into this area of my mesh here. And actually I'll just select these so that I can kind of frame the selected here. And you'll see it really isn't uh, overly complex geometry, right? It just kind of comes up into a bit of a straight face here. Uh, and we can see that I've actually gone ahead and hardened these edges here too. So it doesn't really look amazing. And as we get obviously, you know, a little bit more zoomed in and closer to it, we're going to be able to notice that it actually kind of looks a little bit lower poly. But when we go ahead and add these edge decals, it's really going to hide a lot of that and actually give it a totally new look. So I want to go ahead and kind of have, you know, this edge here and maybe this one uh, over here as well look like it's been kind of worn down and chipped away a little bit using some of the decals that we made in the last video. And to create new decal topology or cards is going to be really easy. I can actually go ahead and use the information we already have. So I'm going to select these faces here in edit mode. And again, I'll select these ones here, right? Because I actually needed to go around our corner or our edge. And I'm going to do shift D to duplicate and then P to separate. So I want them to be their own mesh. Now they're going to have the material from the pipe by default, but we're not going to really have to worry about that too much because we're going to swap that out. So I'll go into our materials and just get rid of that pipes material, right? So that we're going to have just a completely fresh slate there. And in edit mode, I'm also going to select it and scale it out along the normals just so it's actually over top, right? We don't want it to be actually underneath the geometry and we're gonna kind of uh, need to get it over top just a little bit there. And now finally, I'm just going to select this edge and bring it in because I don't want it to be like crazy far out, maybe just around there. Same thing over here, maybe bring it to just so it's kind of underneath and actually maybe I'll bring this one out just a little bit more. So it's kind of underneath these rivets. So it's still looking pretty boring. So let's go ahead and actually bring in some textures and then try and map these out to our decals. So I'm going to create a new material and let's go and call this edge decals. And I'm actually going to go into our shading workspace here. Now, if you're not using Blender again, you're going to have to go into your own material editor, but the principles are going to be pretty much the same. We're just going to import a material so that we can actually see what we're doing when we're unwrapping. So I'll select our shader here and hit Control T because I have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. And let's just go and select our normal texture here. So under the Resources, Textures, and Edge Normals folder, we're going to have all of these different textures for both our pipes um, as well as our concrete uh, barrier there. And you can see that I actually went ahead and developed just two extra edge normal decals just in case you wanted to use it, but I used the same exact process. So I'm going to select this normal here so that it's going to show us what's popping up right with our edge normals there. And I'm also going to go ahead, bring these back and in Blender, just to help me set this up a little bit better, I'm going to also bring in our mask here and I'm going to use this first setting it to non-color uh, as our alpha here. So in our material I can go ahead come down all the way to the bottom and under blend mode just change it to alpha clip. So you can see now it's going to get rid of all of those excess areas. So now that I've got that set up I'll go into my UV editing workspace here And let's go ahead and just make sure we can see. Actually, we'll go just into, yeah, material view there and turn on our scene lights. So right now, this is how everything is unwrapped. And I'll go ahead and take a look at our normals here. And you can see that uh, 
Not ideal, right? And now fortunately for me, this was actually already unwrapped down here. As you can see, uh, we've just got it pretty much unwrapped there. So it's going to be straight strips. I'll bring these over. And let's go ahead and just rotate them 90 degrees and scale these up so that they're actually going to fit these uh, trims here or these decals. Now it's important to remember that these are going to tile off in either direction pretty much infinitely. So I can go ahead and really just, if I take a look at this shell here, actually we'll move it over to this one here, right? Just scale it up really as much as I want. I can go ahead and scale it in on just one axis to, if we take a look here, kind of stretch it or compress it. And this is going to be the information that we're going to get showing up in Unreal. So I'll go ahead and also select this one here, maybe move it over, right? So you can kind of see where it's going to be terminated because of the geometry. So we want to make sure that it's going to encompass uh, pretty much the entirety of this decal so that we're not getting that harsh cutoff. And so really for very simple topology and very simple textures, this is actually going to add a lot of information. Now, while we generally consider edges to be convex areas, right, like these edges here, edges actually can also be concave, right? Like this one here, it's what we'd kind of consider an inverted edge, right? Well, we can go ahead and also alter the normals of this here. And that's actually going to be what we're going to use this welding decal for. So I'm going to go ahead and select kind of these faces here. Again, just duplicating it, uh, separating it there. And let's go and just bring this in. And I'm gonna just kind of scale it out just a touch. So now we've got this and I'm gonna call this decal concave. And I'm going to just quickly snag the material, hitting control L to link the material. And now we can see it's going to show up with our decal material. And here is what our UVs are going to look like. Now it's very important for edge normals as well to really get some nice and straight UV shells like you've seen here. And in most cases, it's gonna be relatively easy because you're going to pretty much just have either straight rectangular topology, or in my case where it's rounded, right? It's going to be just square or rectangular topology anyways that you can just kind of cut up and flatten out. So let's go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees and bring this over. And let's just scale this up. And actually, I maybe want it to go the other way. Again, it doesn't really matter. I'm a little picky that way. And so now if we take a look, right? Well, maybe we can kind of see underneath. So actually, let's go ahead, just scale this back in a little bit. So it's a little closer. And if I go ahead and maybe scale this on the X, right? Make it kind of thicker welding or thinner welding if I want to scale it kind of out on the X. Again, scaling it on the Y to really stretch those in or out, just making it smaller or larger overall. And I think something like that's going to be okay. So once we've got our edge normal decals actually set up, there's one more pretty important thing that we're going to have to take a look at to really make these convincing edge decals. And that's going to be their shading, right? Because we'll note that with our pipes here, right? Remember I said I went ahead and sharpened these edges here? Well, I duplicated this mesh from that actual geometry. So these edges are also going to be sharpened. So I need to go ahead and remove pretty much any sharpening that I've done and make sure that these are just, we take a look back in our uh, solid view here, right? Make sure that these averaged uh, normals are all smoothed out and it's pretty much just one uh, smoothing group. If you're using Max or if you're using Maya and Blender, just you don't want to have any sharp edges because the idea is that we want to kind of have this nice and smooth and then rely on the actual normals of the texture to really convey those normals. Because if I went ahead and kept the sharpening on there, what we'd be getting is these normals, a nice crisp sharp line down the middle, 
and then some normals down there as well. So that's something to really just take note of is that you want to make sure these are actually just one smoothing group or just totally smoothed out. So I've gone ahead and just finalized this asset with adding the same decals at all of these connection pieces just so that when we bring it into Unreal, it's going to look complete and whole. And I'd recommend you go ahead, play around with the rest of this asset and see what kind of cool decals that you can give for these pieces. As well, if you want a little bit extra practice, under this pipes here, we've got these uh, just like wall pipes that I've got hanging up here. You can go ahead and try and create some cool stuff for these. And you'll also notice that I have this barrier collection. And so this is going to have just kind of like this concrete barrier, which you're going to be able to go ahead and just add some, you know, edge decals here, maybe some concave decals here, and really get to explore playing with normals and edge decals. Now, once you're satisfied with all of your placements and your UVs for your decals, let's go ahead and prep this to be exported to Unreal. So I've got my pipes here, right, which is one piece. I've got the uh, the edges, right, those interior decals that we were going and making as one piece. And I've got our concave decals as one piece. And they all have uh, their own respective materials. Well, our decals have the same material, but our pipes have their own material. So I'm going to select all three of these, making sure that our pipes is our active selection here. And I'm just going to hit Control J to join them so that now they're going to be one piece entirely and they're going to share those material resources. So when I bring this into Unreal, it's going to be one piece. So now that I've got this selected, let's go ahead and hit F4 and go and export this as an FBX.